Hey guys, Retro Gaming Maniac here, and I'm here with another episode of Games of My Childhood, which is a series where I basically talk about games I had growing up and why they're special to me, why I still enjoy them. Uh, and all the games that I'm showing you in this series are my original cartridges from my childhood, so it kind of makes it a little more special, I think. And the game we're talking about today is a game called Outlander that came out on the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. And Outlander, believe it or not, was actually supposed to be the sequel to the game called Mad Max that came out in 1990 on the NES. And what I have here is the Sega Genesis version, obviously. And I actually got this one from Blockbuster a long time ago, back, I guess, this one came out in 93? So, yeah, I got this one at Blockbuster a few years after it came out. And it plays really, really well. It's, um, you start the game off in a vehicle and you're driving, and the car has, like, machine guns on it, and it's, like, you know, fully loaded down. And it looks like it's straight out of the Mad Max universe. I mean, the game is set in a post-apocalyptic setting. Uh, the car is really cool. And it's actually, as you're driving, uh, bikers and stuff will ride up next to you or in front of you and throw, like, Molotov cocktails and shoot at you. And you can actually use the machine guns on your, um, your car to shoot them. And they'll even come up to, like, the side, the passenger or driver's side of your vehicle. And, like, they start kicking your door or, you know, they'll aim at you and try to shoot you. And you can actually go into like almost like a first person view and you can look to your left or right with a double barrel shotgun and just boom, blow them away. And you shoot them and they go, ah, oh, and they go and like swerve off the road. It's really awesome. Um, if you hit somebody that's in front of you, you can see them fly off their bike and fly behind your car. And you can actually see the rear view mirror. There's actual um, rear view mirror there that actually works. You can see their body like fly behind you. It's really cool. And you basically you drive around, you fight those guys, um, and at certain points in the game you have to pull over, um, a lot of times because you're running out of fuel. And when you pull over, you have to, the game turns into like a side scroller where you walk around, you can duck, jump, which is more like a skip. And you have like a shotgun, I think. And uh, your mission basically in that part of the game, when you're in the side scrolling part, is to fight off other bikers, or I don't even know what you call them really, they look like bikers. You fight them off, you collect ammo, um, weapons, and fuel for your vehicle. So once you get to the end of that level, you get back in your car, you start driving, because you can kind of pull over off to the side, get back in your car, start driving, and uh, just keep on going, and I guess you just see how long you survive. Um, I made it pretty far, and I never, the gameplay never really changed, it just kept on going and going. Some of the locations were different when you got out of your vehicle, but it was really fun because um, it really did have like a post-apocalyptic feel um, and the the way the guys can like ride up beside you and actually look left or right and point your shotgun at them it's a little short barrel um, double barrel shotgun it's really cool um, very good game and it's called Outlander because it was supposed to be the sequel to Mad Max and I don't know what happened I don't know all the history on it but essentially they had to name it something else they couldn't name it Mad Max and so they changed the name to Outlander but it is a straight it's straight out of the Mad Max universe. It was actually originally developed to be Mad Max 2. And uh, the Super Nintendo version is a lot like this, but it's a third person view with a car instead of a first person. And I prefer the Sega one because you got a really nice um, just first person view uh, and then you got the side scrolling view. So it's a really fun game. Uh, and it's one I definitely recommend. It's one I played a lot growing up. It is a hard game though. And uh, here's the case. I don't have the manual, unfortunately. But yeah, I did get this at Blockbuster back in the day. But it's a game I recommend. It's fun. Uh, you can, As soon as you play it, you'll be able to tell that it's straight out of the Mad Max universe. And uh, it, it did a lot of things really well that you didn't see in other games. Uh, the driving, the uh, you know first-person views, um, seeing somebody like fly behind your, you know, your car in the mirror is really cool. One I definitely recommend. It's one that... Um, I played a lot growing up, and this is my original copy. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.